Alright guys, my name is Nick Sable of Perenni and I'm here for Think Computers and I'm going to go over the Rocket Cone Plus driver software that actually comes with the Rocket Cone Plus mouse. Um, as you'll see here on my screen, I actually have open the driver software for the Ixu keyboard and the Cone Plus mouse at the same time. Um, the reason for that is because one of the main features of these two products is the fact that they're designed to work together. Um, if you read my review on the Ixu, you know that um, the easy shift function that this keyboard has allows you to basically take one key and turn it into several different functionalities. The mouse has the ability to do the same thing standalone and working in conjunction with the keyboard. So, um, by default, whenever you load up the Rocket Cone Plus driver software, which does come in the package, um, you're basically going to get this screen by itself, um, the Cone Plus driver. Uh, whenever you open it up for the first time, it's going to look very similar to the Ixu, where you have main control, where you can adjust all your different mouse settings, all your different profile loadouts, the ability to create profiles, um, button assignments to where you can actually you know, set each key, and just like the Ixu keyboard, it has a dedicated easy shift bu button, which is by default, uh, most of the time you would see on your typical gaming mouse, your back button. Um, but if you press that mouse in conjunction with whatever other button on the mouse you would like, it will actually trigger another function. So, theoretically, this mouse has 24 buttons. Um, color control, there's four individual LEDs that actually cascade really uniquely across the back of these you can you can adjust uh, different effects different lighting effects um, how fast the lighting effect is and under advanced control you know your sensitivity sound feedback all this other wonderful stuff pointer speed typical stuff that you would see underneath your control panel update and support is where you would obviously update your drivers and um, you know contact customer support if you need it but back to the easy shift functionality of the keyboard in conjunction with the mouse um, when I first loaded these both up I couldn't get the easy shift functionality on the keyboard to translate over to the mouse I could get the mouse to work by itself and get the keyboard to work by itself but I couldn't get one to control the other so what I did is I used my internet machine and um, basically I googled what the issue was and I found that rocket has a separate driver program called rocket talk and if you download it, if you go up to your, um, I guess this would be your taskbar to show exactly what functions you have. Typically, whenever you do these installs separately, you'll have two Rocket symbols. Whenever you download Rocket Talk, it actually combines them into one nice little happy family that gives you a breakdown of both the Ixu and the Cone and um, a configuration for each. The windows aren't going to change, but essentially what it does is it takes both drivers and combines it into one. So, um, I have the easy shift button on my keyboard set to trigger all devices, which would essentially, if I pressed it on the keyboard, it's going to work for the buttons I have assigned on the keyboard and the mouse. But I have um, 16, which is your front forward button on your mouse. Um, set to DPI cycle, which it's typically set default as disabled. So just to show you what would happen if I press the easy shift button on the keyboard, which I'm going to do now, holding it down, and I'm going to press button 16, which technically doesn't exist unless I'm holding the easy shift button on the mouse, but we're going to disregard that completely. I'm going to press 16 all by itself. 3,200 to DPI. And what it does is I have it set to cycle my DPI, and you can see my mouse is faster. 6,000 DPI. It's even faster, and then... 400 DPI. Basically sniper level right here. 800 DPI. Let's get back 1, up to a usable DPI. DPI for me. There we go. And uh, basically that's how it works. So essentially what you can do is take a mouse that has 12 buttons by default mm -hmm. and a keyboard that has 100 some keys by default and turn them into many, many, many more keys. Um, it's really, really cool functionality, especially if you're, I'd say, an MMO gamer because you can take your mouse that doesn't have to typically be designed for MMOs. Like you see a lot of new MMO mouses out that have 30 buttons on the side of them. 
um, and you don't have to do that because you have a single button on your keyboard that will trigger all the additional buttons on your mouse or vice versa. So this is Nick Perenni with Think Computers uh, signing off. Take care, guys.